what is up it's a mick guy and today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a really cool shooter game in scratch i already did this a while ago but this is a new version and it's much cooler i have a lot of new tips for you guys and a lot of things that you guys can learn from this video so stick around for this part and possibly a part two and three to finish the game so yeah this is how the game looks it's pretty cool um yeah nice aesthetic to it and i'll provide a lot of the costumes in the description below so let's get right into the video so as you can see here the first thing we want to do is i'm going to delete this and i'm going to pull out a new document right so the new document it's going to be called red dot dude okay and you can see that it's just going to create a uh, sprite let's see if it uploads okay let's do it this way okay that way it works much better so we can delete this we get that right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a couple of variables the first one's gonna be called x speed the second one is gonna be called y speed uh, another one's gonna be called top speed and the next one is going to be called lives. All right, so after that, what we want to do is we want to basically go into events and drag in a forever and then drag in an if and get, then go into sensing and then press key space is pressed. Make that a key right arrow is pressed. And instead of having it, um, yeah, like that. And then what we want to do is go into data and say set x speed to and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say um, top speed. Then you're gonna uh, point in direction 90, like you do right here. And then you're gonna duplicate this. And what you wanna do here is you wanna say if left arrow is being pressed, then set X speed to go into operators and drag in a multiplication sign, make the second one negative one, make the first one top speed and then make it left. So then duplicate this and say up and make this down. And as you can guess, we're gonna say change Y speed, uh, whoops, Y speed, say um, uh, X, Y speed here. And instead of pointing right or left, we're gonna point up and down. All right, so we can delete this. I don't know why that showed up finally. But anyways, um, Besides that, we're going to go into one flag is clicked, and we basically want to set everything to zero. So set lives to three for this one. But then for this, you want to say set x speed, set y speed, and set top speed to zero. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you want to say, um, here, one second. Okay, this is what you want to do. So you want to go into events and you want to say when flag is clicked and you want to say set size. Um, honestly, I think this is a good size. You don't need to affect that. What you're going to say is you're going to say forever change uh, forever change X by. So go into motion and say change X by blah, change Y by. And we'll add that in later. And then go in, into data and say change x by x speed, change y by y speed. And then say set x speed to uh, go into operator, drag in the multiplication sign, go into data, drag in the x speed, and make it 0 0.8. And as you probably guessed, we're going to do the same thing for the y speed. So yeah, this is how basically how you do this part. And then the next thing is going to add the cool like follow uh, visual effect that we're gonna do so go into events drag in a one flag is clicked drag in a forever and then drag in an if and go into operators and make sure you drag in an and not an or and in the first one you're gonna say not and then you're gonna drag in equals and go into data then you want to drag in x speed and you say if not x speed equals zero and not x speed equal y speed equals zero then you're going to create clone of myself and then obviously you need a when i start as clone you're going to say repeat four times not ten but four because ten is too much you're going to go into looks and say uh change size uh, whoops change ghost effect by 25 
and then simply delete this clone. All right, so now uh, basically what I like to do in my tutorials is go over the whole thing and then individually go on each script and explain it. Let's talk about this one for a second. So let's talk about the variables actually. So lives is obviously lives. X speed is how fast it's moving left and right. And um, wait, give me one sec. We want to actually drag in a clear graphic effects. A Y speed is the up and down speed, and top speed is how fast it's going to move in those directions. So when flag is selected, we're going to clear graphic effects. So we're saying if the right arrow is being pressed, then we want to set the X speed in the positive top speed, meaning we want to go right top speed amount of time. So we want to point that way too. Same thing for left, up, and down. Then in this, all we're saying is forever, what we're doing is simply just saying change X by X speed. So move right the amount move right and left the amount of the variable and same with up and down for change y then here we're just saying set x speed to x speed times 0.8 change y speed set y speed to y speed times 0.8 so for the guys uh, or for the people who are new to my channel and um, you don't really understand this what this means is it's going to slowly go down from a number to zero so let's say if we were to do uh, oh just subtract one every time right well, soon enough, it's going to go below zero. And then what happens, right? What would happen then? So what we're doing here is we're basically just making it slowly go down and down and down. And this way, it's a lot more um, efficient and it works a lot better, but it does uh, involve the slightest bit of math. Uh, here we're saying basically what this means is if it's not if it's moving, only if it's moving. If it's not moving, we don't care. Only if it's moving, create the clone of myself. But if it's not, if it's not, um, then don't. And it, you were saying when I start as clone here, clone is basically just duplicating the sprite and adding the code for it. We're saying repeat four times, change ghost effect by 25. So I've never actually tried that. Uh, and it doesn't seem to be working. Oh yeah, that's because we need to set top speed to, uh, let's see what number I put in the notes here. I think I put, yeah, eight. So then try it. And you can see that this happens, right? And yeah, it's pretty cool. And you can see that the ghost effect kicks in. Really just a really cool effect. Oh, what did I say? Really just a really cool effect. What am I saying? Uh, but you guys know what I mean. It's honestly makes it look so much cooler. And we're not done yet for the tutorial. We're actually going to add a bullet. So what we're going to do is we're going to press paint a new sprite. And then we're going to uh, put in the red bullet. And if you guys comment, and I actually remember, I'll put it in the description. There we go. Okay, we just got a bunch. That's fine though. Um, so basically, with this guy, what we want to do is we want to uh, go into scripts and drag in and make a new variable called bullet speed. Then what we want to do is we want to go into events and we're gonna say when flag is clicked and we're gonna say set size to 200%. And once the size is set to 200%, what we're gonna do is we're going to hide this, right, and then say set bullet speed to 10 or actually let's do 12 and then say uh, when flag is clicked go into control drag in a forever and say if key space is pressed if key space is pressed then all we want to do is just create a clone of myself so I go into control and say create clone of myself and then say wait until and then go into operators drag in a knot and then duplicate this and put it right there so then we're going to actually make some bullets, and um, I'll explain briefly what this is. You're creating a block that does certain things, so whenever you put that block in your code, it'll do everything that you define the block as. Now, if you guys want, I'll make a separate tutorial because this can get kind of confusing, and there's some cool things you can do with it, but these are just the basics. So we're going to call this set up, whoops, set up bullet. So here we're going to define what set up bullet means, and that means we're going to point in direction, and then we're going to go into sensing and say direction of our main red dude, right? So say direction of red dude. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say go to uh, red dude. Because we want to go to him so we can leave him and go towards the edge. Then what we want to do is we're going to say uh, go back one layers. Or it should be one layer. I don't know why it has layers. I guess that's just something that Scratch does. And then uh, we're going to go into control, say when I start as clone, 
and then obviously you're going to drag in the setup bullet because as soon as you spawn a clone you want to do all these things right here to basically set up how it's going to work and then once you're there you want to go into sensing and say until uh drag in a touching uh edge whoops you want to drag in a repeat until here repeat until touching edge move bullet speed step so go into move motion drag in a move 10 steps obviously change that with bullet speed and then basically just delete the clump so let me uh see if it works real quickly works perfectly 200 percent is too big 100 percent whoops 100 percent definitely works a lot better and uh in the red dude we want to say go to front but we're not done yet right we're not done with the tutorial yet you can see it looks really cool just as i had in the next part we'll add this stuff but i want to explain this so when flag is clicked set size to the regular size hide it set bullet speed to 12 really all self-explanatory stuff then we're going to say if key space is pressed create clone of myself so duplicate myself and then wait until not key space is pressed so what this means is you can't hold it down and you can test that it's only going to go once What's going to happen is basically it's going to wait until you hit it again. So it's checking, okay, key space is pressed, and I'm going to create clone myself. And I'm not going to do anything else until we let go of the key space, which is, this is not key space pressed. That's what it means. So then you're saying when I start as clone, set a bullet, which is everything here, point and direction, go to, go back, so obviously all that. Repeat until touching edge, so until it's going to touch an edge of the bullet, just keep on moving, right? And then delete the clone so you don't get any extra lag and it looks smooth. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I tried to explain it as best as I could and things are gonna get a little bit more confusing and complex in the next tutorial. So I hope you guys stick around for that with lives and enemies and uh, comment, um, comment something and like and subscribe for more of these videos. If this video hits 75 likes yeah that's tough 75 likes most of it are asked for i'm gonna do part two within the next uh week but if it doesn't get 75 within a week then i'm gonna be dropping another video and then maybe the next time or the time after that but anyways thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and peace out see you guys next time